everyone welcome back to my channel hope everyone's okay today why am i singing i'm going to make a beaded necklace i've had this set for ages and i just looked at it this morning and thought let's make a necklace and i thought let's answer some questions so i asked on my instagram I'm in a really weird mood, don't know why I'm singing. I asked on my Instagram for some questions that I'm going to answer. And that's it, that's that's the video. I think I'm just gonna make a jazzy, a jazzy necklace and be like all the cool Instagram girls. Um, So I've got my little wire, I've got these cute little scissors, how sweet, little clasps. The only thing it didn't come with was instructions. I'm just gonna wing it and see how it goes because I want some jazzy necklaces, some fun, spicy necklaces. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. First question: What's the biggest lesson you've learned through lockdown? I think, especially um, in the summer, if social media is not making me happy, just get rid of it. It's really not that deep. Like. I think I was overthinking it so much. Oh my God, I'm going to have no friends if I delete all my social media. I'm not going to speak to anyone. Ugh, if it, like, social media was making me so sad. I deleted it. Oh yeah, then my friends would text me. There's other ways around it. Like, it's not the end of the world. If social, like, ugh, I can't stress it enough. Just delete it. If it was making you so sad, I deleted Snapchat and Instagram. Did I delete TikTok? No, I think I kept TikTok. Which, strangely enough, that's the most toxic one at the minute. So I think I'm going to have to delete that one soon. Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like I was so in my head about it. Like, if I deleted in, um, social media, I would just be this lonely bean and no one would talk to me. But uh, that's not the case. Let's hope I can multitask because otherwise this video will not will not be successful. Um, Amy asked a pretty hissing question. One person you'd die for? Um, I feel like I can't just name one person. I feel like I would pretty much die for my family and friends and boyfriend. What does boyfriend come under? It's not family. It's not friends. I guess it's its own category, isn't it? I can't really specify. I, I can't. I just, I feel like I would dodge a bullet for many no i would jump wait it's dodge no, if i dodged a bullet then they're gonna get killed if i you know what i mean i'd die for them i don't know how i don't really know look all these different things so we've got your classic i understand this and it's got a little yeah so i'm thinking if i do this and knot it around is that gonna work this doesn't even knot. Oh, it's coming undone. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the best solution is. Maybe I should have watched a video. But then I thought, surely I, I will know how to make a beaded necklace. Oh, why is it halfway? Why have I done that? Because now that's going to be really short. Yeah, that doesn't even go around my neck. I'm so confused. I think it was the pressure of the camera because I've literally been away for about 10 seconds and I've done it. Next question. Maybe a singing career is in the horizon for me. I feel like it definitely is. What's the best song lyric of all time in your opinion? Now, I've thought about this. When I saw this question come through, I thought, oh my God, what is it? And I don't know. <laughs> To put it simply, I literally have sat here and thought about it so long. I feel like it's one of those things that if I um, heard it, I'd be like, yeah, there is. But I just can't think of song lyrics. The only song lyric I could think of that came to mind straight away was a Coldplay song lyric from the song, every tear, every teardrop is a waterfall. Yeah, that one. <laughs> It goes, I'd rather be a comma than a full stop. And the only reason I remember that so much is because my dad loves it. But what a great lyric. It's like, I'd rather keep going than like put a stop on things. 
that is literally the only lyric i can think of and i just know people are gonna be like mm, you haven't even thought about this and i'd be like oh yeah yeah like obviously that's a great lyric i just don't remember them we're going for a little pink and red vibe because pink and red is the way forward people i'm telling you pink and red is an absolute vibe and always will be you can't tell me any different pink and red oof, oof. i think it's probably one of my favorite color combinations to be honest i think it's very spicy Woo. okay lily asked a few which lily has a youtube you probably all know i'll link it below she said do you regret anything and i don't think i do i feel like i haven't really done that many crazy things in my life i'm too much of a goody two shoes to do anything i can't like i can't miss anything at uni i just i'm like i have to get the attendance if i'm bored to death i will still sit there to get that qr code to scan to get my attendance there's just the oh i just i feel like i don't do anything crazy to regret obviously there's things that i'm like oh probably shouldn't have done that Ooh. but i feel like i have learned from it i've grown and without these things would i be the person i am today i don't know what to do next pink pink red yeah let's do no no we'll do one because that's what i've done before we'll do one and then we're gonna do another flower and we'll do a red flower this time that would look super cute um i can oh my god i forgot about these tiny butterflies i love butterflies oh i love butterflies so much uh when tattoo shops back open that is where i'm going to be going and i will be getting a butterfly tattoo on my arm butterfly <laughs> butterfly tattoo on my arm like every other basic bitch on instagram i don't care though butterflies are just like to me they're a good luck charm if i see one i'm instantly happy five year plan okay so in five years i will be 25 coming up to 26 so i would hope okay so i finish uni next year and then i want to go traveling for show like i want to go for like three four months and do the whole like thailand bali australia that whole like area of the world i would love to do that for literally months on end Oh, let's backtrack very, very near future this summer. Internships. I need experience in the fashion industry. <sighs> so badly. Oh my God, do I need experience? Damn right I do. Like, like urgently I need it. Otherwise I am not going to get hired. This is the dream, right? I have an internship. They love me. I love them. They offer me a job for when I leave uni. I say, hi, but I do want to travel for like a few minutes ago. Not even a problem, Lucy. You come to us when you're ready. And then I have a great job. Well, the hope in five years is that I have a happy, I'm happy in the workplace. I have a job that makes me happy. People around me that make me happy. I feel like happiness is my main goal. Five years, will I want to have moved out? Again, depends my financial situation. Basically, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, and this actually ties into another question. There was asked, specific future career aspirations slash dream job. So if we're talking about the, the future of Lucy, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have a clue what. Well, mm, I have some kind of clue, but not a massive one. I do a course called Fashion Communication and Promotion, which I do... A lot of different things there's so many jobs i can go into with it which is incredible but at the same time there's a lot of different avenues and that's why i need to get internships because i need to pick up any kind of internship at all to decide whether it's something that i enjoy or that i don't want to ever go back to so <laughs> i want to be in a job that i'm not in a little box like i only do i do the same thing every day day out day, day in day out i do not want to be sat in an office nine till five that is a nightmare for me to be honest no 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 so i think something that i might want to do is like um a creative director now a creative director gonna take me a while to get up there but my tutor said to me the other day he thinks that i should aim as ambitiously as possible because he thinks i will get there 
when I tell you I nearly cried. <laughs> it's just nice when someone believes me in your work, especially when you're doubting yourself. So it's very nice. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> um, no matter what job I have, my first thing for the fashion industry will be making the teas and coffees, picking up things from a photocopier running around everyone else unless i become self-employed which i have thought about this it, unless i made my own publication my own zine that would be very interesting i would love to do that i don't know i'm kind of exploring many different avenues at the minute um hoping that once things open back up i can get any experience at all next one that lily asked is what's your sexuality i am straight heterosexual <laughs> I feel like I have actually been quite lucky that I've never felt confused or anything like that because obviously I know that for a lot of people that can be a massive struggle and I feel like I am very very grateful and have been very very lucky that that has not been something that I've had to go through sorry i got really confused my necklace for a second there um but yeah i'm straight <laughs> and then following on from that how are you and tiv that is my boyfriend his name's not tiv his name's ethan but um we're fine <laughs> we're good we hit the two year mark woo go us um and yeah we're doing well obviously i feel like we are actually quite lucky because we have always been long distance so with things being a lockdown obviously in and out lockdown like when can we see each other when can we not i feel like we um are very very lucky in the fact that we've never been around each other all the time if that makes sense we've always had periods of time where we haven't been able to see each other so we're doing well i don't know I don't know what to do next. Should I do a flower? Yeah, let, yeah, let's just do a flower. What is one thing you can't wait to do with your mates that doesn't involve drinking? I think just simply being able to see them. Like, honestly, that just being able to message in a group chat and be like, what's everyone doing today? And little things like picnics. I just really want to go on a picnic, like a massive picnic. That is like a, a big thing I want to do soon. Um, so friends, if you want to come on a picnic with me, I would I would really enjoy that. Um, what else? Just like spontaneous day trips. Like wake up one morning. Oh my God, should we go here today? Yeah, let's go. Let's get in the car and go right now. Because I feel like this... Yeah, that is right. This time has taught me more than ever to be more spontaneous. I feel like before I was very much like oh i don't know like me not really too sure now i'm i'm just gonna jump at any, any opportunity and if any of my friends are watching this if i say no please turn up at my house and force me in the car to go no she's looking cute look at that oh. okay give us your favorite sustainable brands first i'm just gonna have a sip of my tea Obviously, everyone knows and loves House of Sunny. They're big up there in the game. They're now rocking it. I feel like everyone now um, tunes into them. And not that they didn't before, but I feel like even more so people now are quite um, on it with House of Sunny. Second one, Peachy Den. Oh my God, when I tell you I dream about the pink Colonel jumpsuit. I'll put a picture up here. I want it so bad. And every time they say they're going to restock it, they don't. And I know it's not their fault because I did see, I think it, they either commented it or was in their story and they said the fans having so much delays because of Brexit. Brexit. Because of Brexit. So they keep having to push the date back and back and back. But next one is March 24th and you bet I'll be on that website March 24th. I just want it so bad. I think it's so gorgeous and definitely a piece I will keep for ages. Um, Off Cut Studio, that is a new one that I found. Um, I think they are just, yeah, just Instagram and <laughs> so sad. The other day they did a drop. I had 
this top in my basket put my details in sorry it's sold out honestly congrats to them though to have that much of a support and people wanting the items that bad because what i love about them is clues in the name they use offcuts of all like loads of fabric so the piece that you're getting chances are no one else is going to get a piece that you've got so i think things like that that like i love that and that is why yeah maybe if you say oh my god you're paying 40 pounds for like a tank top yeah but no one else is going to have it it's a beautiful piece a lot of love's gone into it so you're just paying for the the love that has gone into it which i think is wonderful i'm definitely going to run out of pink beads that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate oh well can i think of any other sustainable brands i don't think i can not off the top of my head but there's so many out there honestly so many, I know Depop does get a lot of stick, but there are some incredible people that are making some beautiful, beautiful pieces by hand. But it's a lot better than anything you're going to get off PLT or Boohoo. If you want fleas, go to PLT or Boohoo. But uh, if you want a good quality piece of clothing that's going to last, go to individual and independent sellers. She's looking so cute. <gasps> I'm so excited for her. What are you most excited for after lockdown? Again, ties into everything else, social interaction, being able to see other people. Um, yeah, I feel like all the same things apply. I don't know everything and anything, being able to just see friends, hug friends, hug my family. Just easily be able to see people. Oh my God, this is the last question. Is it? It is the last question. Okay. How do you keep your hair so nice when you dye it lots? Thanks, Ella. Um, I feel like, to be fair, I I don't do a lot of, like, um hair masks and stuff, which I probably should. I do them every so often, like, once in a blue moon. But, um, oh, I've messed that up. Oh, that was meant to be... Oh, well um but when i dye my hair like say for example these blonde bits obviously my roots need doing but i will wait at least six weeks until i bleach them again and i won't bleach the ends of this now because obviously they're so light there's no there's no point i will literally just bleach the root and that's it um same for when i had a blonde chunk same for when it was all blonde at the top i would not do the thing that everyone does and if it they bleach it they don't like it and they bleach it an hour later like your hair's gonna fall out if you do that like i literally had orange hair for a month six weeks because i was like why would i want to destroy all my hair also i don't wash my hair that much <laughs> i wash my hair once a week um that i like i've trained it to be fine and also like even if it's looking that greasy just put it in like a slick bun or a claw clip and then it, you just say it's fashion. Why is it taking me this long to do this? She's looking so cute though. Okay, let's do a heart. Yeah, we've got pink heart, red heart. So we need another pink heart. Do I have a light pink one? No. Oh, I do. I might finish this and then come back because I clearly just do not have the mental capacity today to be able to do two things at once. Oh, there's beads flying all over the shop. What am I doing? I'm not taking that one off. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm confused. I'm going to finish this and then I'll be back. A few moments later. I did it. It looks shorter because um, I've got a turtleneck on. So hopefully it'll be a little bit longer when it's bare skin. Oh my God, she's so cute. I'm actually very impressed with myself that I've done this. I'll take her off and I'll show you properly. She's so cute. Oh my god, I'm actually so happy I've done this. Yay! We've got a cute beaded necklace. I had to change the design halfway if you're interested. Um, I wanted to write my name and they don't have a U. So I just went with the L. And then I have these little butterflies. Oh, you can't even see them. Ooh, ignore the crusty nails. Little butterflies. I've got these flowers. Super fun, super fresh. 
hit me up if you want a beaded necklace. I can make them for you. Yay! Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a beautiful week. And I'm gonna go and try to focus myself. <laughs> Goodbye.